And then he said, no problem. And everyone was like, Change the colors, change the lines, lights, whatever you design. Oh, 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 oh. Choose the fabric on your style, make it sweet, I'll make it wild. Oh, 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 oh. It's Angel and I'm wearing the same sweatshirt as the other vlog because it's a sweatshirt. I can wear it more than once. Today is Monday the 24th and I'm going to the Taylor Bennett concert at Chop Suey in Seattle. And I just curled my hair with my Con Air wand. There's my toilet too. Um, I don't really like, like to put heat on my hair because... However it ends up, I always end up hating it, whether I straighten it, whether I curl it, it just looks like schnip. So, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do my makeup now, and I will show you guys my outfit after I'm done. Howdy, y'all. I did my makeup, as you can see. I'm going to be wearing probably this. I don't know. I changed my mind a lot. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey guys, it's Angel. It's the next day. This is a vlog turn story time because like so many things happened yesterday that just... Wow. I purchased my ticket with my mom's debit card and it was a will call ticket. So in order to get let in the email confirming my purchase said I needed the debit card I used to purchase it and the ID of the credit card holder's name. My dad had my mom's debit card that I used and he works in Enumclaw and that's like a really long ways away. It was like three something when I found out I didn't have the card. First we picked up my cousin on the way there because uh, we were going together to the concert. We drive all the way to Enumclaw to my dad's work, get the card, drive all the way 50 minutes to Seattle, and then we get to Chop Suey, which is the venue that Taylor Bennett was performing at. But we get there at like 6.50 and we go in the line and as we're walking, to get to the back of the line. It's very windy outside. I'm wearing a skirt. My skirt flies up. Really cool. Really awesome. And then we get in line. And then at 7, the doors open. They're letting us in. And then I get to Will Call. And... <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I have the debit card and I have the ID. My mom's ID. She drove back home without her ID, like her license, so that I could take it. And so I get into the thing and I'm like, okay, I have the debit card and the ID of my mom's, because this is my mom's debit card that I used to pay. And I also had the email confirming my ticket. And she looks at me and she goes, all I need is your last name. All I need is your last name. What the hell? I just went through all of that and all you need is my last name like I didn't even need the debit card or the ID so I was really like annoyed as anyone else would be so I went through that whole ordeal for nothing and my mom and dad were really annoyed we get in and it's a small venue and everyone stands. Usually at those kinds of concerts where there's no seats and it's really small, there's a lot of pushing and shoving, which I don't like. Anytime I go to a show like that, I get really bad anxiety, like a panic attack. I did get one. The first DJ comes out and he's playing his like songs and whatnot. <laughs> And then the first artist comes out and it's Mellow Makes Music. And I had never heard of him before. Like, I I looked him up when I found out he was going to be at the show, I think, like, a few weeks ago. And I, like, subscribed to his YouTube. So he comes out and he sings slash raps. Let's get it. 
And I really liked it. It was pretty good. And right now, like when he was on, I was in the middle of this, of the audience, like in the middle part, directly in the middle. I'm standing there and my goal whenever I go to a concert like this is make my way to the front. The second DJ comes out and he starts playing his songs, you know, the remixes or whatever. And then the second artist comes out and his name's Brian Fresco. And at first I thought it was 21 Savage because he looks like 21 Savage. Like everything, the nose. He's really, really nice. Like they're all really, really nice. Um, and he does his songs. I like him. He's good. And then during his set, he came, he took his shirt off, came down in the crowd, and was rapping in the crowd. And so that caused like a swarm of people to form a circle around him. And everyone was shoving and pushing, and I kept getting knocked <laughs> in the chest. And then that's when the anxiety attack hits, and it's so bad. I don't think... When I went to a Yellow Wolf concert, it was like that, but it was grown men. Like, these were all teenagers. They're doing that, and I'm like, well, while everyone's focused on this, I'm going to go to the front. After the dude goes back on stage, I am closer. Then after that guy's done, he goes back stage, and then the third DJ comes out. And he's doing like some stuff and then he does this drum thing and then Taylor Bennett comes out. And Taylor Bennett's like, hey, my man Brian like dropped his chain in the crowd and so can you guys, do you guys know where it is? And this is like, I'm shocked. Some this girl holds up this dude's chain this dude's l Freaking chain like anyone Normal person like you'd expect them to steal it. It's a chain With diamonds on it like So he's like, okay, you bring it up to the stage and she brings it up He grabs it and he's like this is seven thousand dollars right here. I don't know if that's true, but if that was seven thousand dollars, I would have kept that. I no joke would have kept that. Uh, I'm a horrible person. I'm horrible. So he takes it and then he goes on to play his set and it was so freaking good. I'm so happy I got to go. It was only fifteen dollars with tax to go and he's playing and then he like takes a drink of his water and he has two water bottles, one open and one unopened. And someone's like, can I get that water though? And everyone's sweating profusely and it's so hot in there. And he, so he's like, you want this water? He takes the unopened one and throws it into the crowd and I am so close to grabbing it. But the girl behind me gets it. And she starts drinking it. I'm like, mm, that should have been me, witch. That should have been me. And so the thing keeps going on and it's really really good and he's just so nice and then it's the end of the show and he's like guys we kind of played this one song early so you have a choice and he named three songs and the last one he named was no problem which is chance the rapper song and i think i said this before taylor bennett is chance the rapper's younger brother so when he said no problem everyone was like <laughs> And then he's like, okay, we're going to take a vote. So he said the first song, and everyone was like, woo. Then he said the second song, and everyone was like, woo. And then he said, no problem, and everyone was like. <laughs> and so <laughs> he was like, okay, I guess we're doing it. We're doing it. 
and it starts it's like eh, if one more label <laughs> and we're like losing it we're like yes and it's not even his song it's his brother's song but we're like oh my god and he starts doing it and then the brian guy comes on the stage and then the they have people that stand on the side of the stage with their phones like the artist phones taking snaps for them to post on the people's snapchat the dude who was holding uh taylor's phone to take snaps gets on the stage and he's dancing or he was already on the stage but he gets like on on and starts dancing and they're all dancing on the stage singing the song and it's so good and i forgot to mention before the show was starting everyone was like talking of course in the crowd like before anyone came on and there was this dude behind me and he was so annoying the whole time he's like talking so loud and saying the dumbest crap and there was music playing before uh, anyone came out, like there's just music playing in the song. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. And he's singing it so loud. He's like, Let's go up. And they stay down. And they stay down. And he's singing it so loud. And every song that comes on, he's singing with it. My baby don't mess around. Cause every hand I had it, and it no for show. Hey, yeah. I'm like, dude. And he's really, um, it's called tone deaf, so it sounds horrible. He's like, hey, y'all, <laughs> his stupid deep voice. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then he starts talking to his buddy, and he's like, oh my gosh, if Chance the Rapper comes out, I'm losing my shit. If Chance the Rapper comes out, I'm gonna lose my shit. And he keeps saying that, and I'm like, okay, well, this is Seattle. This is the smallest venue ever. Why would chance rapper come out like if he was gonna come out at any venue it would have been at the chicago one that just what an idiot and then there's another dude during this whole thing that was in front of me his head was literally shaped like a light bulb he reminded me of caillou for some reason he had hair like he had blonde hair but he just reminded me of caillou because his head was so freaking round and the whole time he's talking every time he talks he's like this and I'm laughing because he's just moving his shoulders profusely like so much like he's like I don't know <laughs> and he's really short and like just imagine a light bulb a freaking light bulb with shoulders going like this like a human body like that's what he was doing this tack came out hold on let me fix this and so he's doing this and then every time he's singing with a song he goes like like and his hands go up and they stay down and it's so stupid and embarrassing and I'm just embarrassed for him and there was this person like a lot of people in the crowd were getting on my nerves uh there was someone at the very front wearing a number one dad hat and there's a girl behind me literally talking schnip about everyone at the show and I keep giving her dirty looks because like stop being rude can you just like I wasn't saying anything aloud of course because I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings I will talk crap about you after if you were being stupid so she's like oh my gosh do you see that bitch up front where <laughs> I'm talking like a dude but I'm gonna talk like a dude because she's ugly so she's like Oh my gosh, that bitch up front wearing that number one dad hat, like, what the fuck? And I was like, why do you even care? Like, calm down. And I look at her, and I notice her makeup looks really fugly, so that explains why she's talking about everyone else, because she, uh, is trying to get the focus off of her hideous makeup look. So, yeah, she's just complaining about the number one dad hat. There were some nice people in the crowd, like, there was this girl, um, who was standing next to me, and these guys in front of us were literally jumping so high and they were like teenage boys so they weren't the smallest and I know I'm a big girl but my feet are little like my feet are little and they were jumping up and landing on my feet and we were both getting elbowed so hard and I really felt like one of them because they were going like this I felt like they were going to knock their head back and hit me in the nose and her and I kept looking at each other and we were like oh my gosh we're they're literally going to kill us it's the end of the show he finishes no problem and he's like so what I do after these is I meet everyone that comes to my show and we can do this if y'all are not mobbing me 
And so his um, tour bus, tour bus, was like parked on the side of the vent, like the show place, Chop Suey. And we all line up to meet him. And I forgot to say this, but before the show started, you could look in the hallway and there was the door to the room they were all in and they kept opening it a crack and then whenever they'd open it we'd be like and then they'd shut it and then they'd open it and we'd be like so every time hey hey <laughs> it's so stupid anyways so we all line up and the two other artists brian fresco and mellow makes music they're on the side of the line so that we can meet them too and they are the sweetest so freaking nice. I met Brian first. And they're just really nice people. He's like, hey, how'd you like the show? And I was like, it was so amazing. You did so good. I really enjoyed it. And he was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I'm like, could I get a picture with you? I take a picture with him. I'll put the picture right over here. And then we get up closer and mellow. His real name's Carmelo, so he's there, and I'm like, he's so beautiful. Can I just say that? He's just so cute. And we get up to him, and I'm like, hey, you did so good. Like, can I get a picture with you? And he's like, yeah, of course, of course. Um, I'm so glad to be here. What's your name? I'm like, Angel. And he's like, okay. And so we take the picture, and he, like, holds up three and I hold up three because you know three M and during the concert we were like, he was like three and then we'd be like M three M three M because Mellow makes music and so he's holding it up I put it up too and my nails like I have really short fingers like if you go like this this is my longest finger right go like this it's not even as big as the palm of my hand so I have really small hands my nickname in junior high was Sausage Fingers because <laughs> they're short and stubby. So I have these long nails and it makes my hands look so long, like sloth hands. And so I'm holding up the three and my hand looks so long. So I had to, like, do you see this? Like, so I had to crop that snip out so it looks like I'm holding up the twos. <laughs> so I'm going to put that picture in right here. And then we get up to Taylor Bennett and before like we got up close he looked really really tall and I was like oh my gosh I turned to my cousin I'm like he's so tall like yes and then we get up closer I'm like he looks really short now and I noticed that whenever he goes to take a picture with a girl he's it's like in front of the door of his um what's it called tour bus he stands on the steps of the tour bus when he takes pictures with the girls. But when he takes a pic with the guys, he'll stand on the ground. So, <laughs> he's like, I get up to him. He's the same height as me. And I'm like, I love this show. It was amazing. Like, one of the best shows I've been to. Because it was, it was just really fun. And he's like, thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm like, of course. And then he gets up on his steps. And my cousin takes two pictures of us. And I'll put those here. And then we go. We wait by the side of Chop Suey. And we get an Uber. The Uber comes. And...